Why do people kill? I don't get it. It upsets me. And it pisses me off. So I decided to make a film about it. A search is on tonight for the person who shot and killed a Queens High School student. A 17 year old girl was shot around lunchtime about on seven blocks from Jamaica bus. High School. 18 year old Lauren Cheek is charged with gunning down well, another man on a New Jersey sitting in the back seat last Friday. went berserk and punched and kicked 52 year old Jagat Balram on a Queens sidewalk and then left him to die. And tonight, police say they don't have a motive. People kill because they get angry. That's the main one. You get angry, you lose control, you kill someone. I'll tell you this, most of the reasons are pretty stupid. I don't think people really give a lot of thought before they kill people in most circumstances. I don't think people are born to kill and I certainly don't think that society causes people to commit homicide. I think we're born with a complexity of possibilities. We're born capable of good, we're born capable of, of evil, and invariably, most human beings, we're a mix of both. <laughs> Marcus McTeer was a star running back at Reagan High School in Austin, when Texas. he spiraled out of control and brutally murdered his girlfriend. Teddy Lynn Ellis was in jail serving time for murder when he escaped. A transsexual is in jail tonight charged with murdering her own mother. Cops say that drugs may have been the motive, but the suspect... You know, one of the misconceptions is that it's only strangers that get killed in some, you know, narrow street. It's like the same with rape. Um, and uh, it, it's just not true. Most people who get killed are people in relationships. There will always be uh, husbands who batter their wives or girlfriends, and sometimes that battering goes as far as homicide. Very often you'll find that the majority of murders are based on situations where people argue and they get out of hand and one person gets killed, either accidentally or on purpose. That basically these are normal people who have done a terrible thing and now they've got to live with those consequences. Why'd you do it? Do you have any remorse today? No. Do you have anything to say at all to the victim's Sorry. family? I don't think they're sympathetic to their victims. Uh, I think sometimes if they express any sympathy, or not sympathy, it's sorrow. It's sorrow for their own predicament rather than realizing what they've done um, to put themselves where they are. Most people who have committed murders or killed people uh, generally are as shocked and horrified by what they did as everyone else is. When you're taught as a young person over and over again that violence is the way to resolve your problems, then I would say something like a homicide is really almost inevitable. And you can feel bad that uh, parents or others um, so screwed up and so um, were so thoughtless or incompetent or incapable of raising children and producing these problems uh, doesn't mean that we should excuse the conduct that results. I think killing is never justified unless you're talking about a situation of true self-defense. The dead man's sister and fiance don't think Christopher Drayton should be facing murder charges over the Monday night incident. I was there and it was self-defense. Until we place ourselves in a situation of war or in a place where you are facing the imminent use of deadly physical force and have the ability to use it back, you know, only if you're in that situation would you know whether, whether you could do it. I understand what, what a person who is a, a suicide bomber is doing. They're saying that you are killing me. <laughs> and that you have killed my very possibility to live as a human being the way that I want to live. And the only way that I can get back at you is to kill myself. You know, you read in the newspaper about some guy, you know, do, committing some homicide and it makes you furious. I mean, it happens to me. 
I read it and I think, ah, oh, terrible, you know? And it is, like, there's no question, it is terrible. But that doesn't mean that whatever we want to do to that person is legitimate. There are some families who do want and appreciate and take satisfaction in the execution of the person or persons responsible for the death of their loved one. So it, it doesn't work. If I kill someone because they killed someone, then we've got two dead people. Even if you're for the death penalty, which obviously I'm not, um, it's crazy. It's crazy behavior. It's, uh, at bottom, a totally emotional response to a social problem. You know, ultimately, if society, or more specifically, uh, those people responsible for the upbringing of a given individual produce somebody who is I hate to use the word a monster, but someone who has no morality and no qualms about using violence, well then society has to protect themselves from such an individual, even if one understands intellectually how they came to be that way. Last year, there were 17,000 murders in the U.S. and 59 prisoners were sent to their death and over 1,500 soldiers have died in Iraq. I just wanted to stop, just stop. <laughs>